Jared, yes. just you guys get the early pace that you had against those guys, and obviously with the match of the day, just what did you think of how you guys came out to match their intensity? We came out excellent. Uh, they were what, on the 13, they were on a good 13 game winning streak. We could have easily came out flat, you know, thinking, oh, they're going to run over us. They still have the hot hand. But we came in, we threw the first punch. Jay, we talked the other night just about trying to keep up with, you know, when, when other teams make a run. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of how you bounced back when they got back? I mean, I definitely, we, uh, we played great. great. Um, obviously, it was a tough ending for us, but for the 48 minutes, we were right there. We compete. I mean, that's that's what we've been doing for the beginning of the season. Uh, obviously, it's, you know, it's a very tough game for us because we knew that uh, we had a chance to win this game. But uh, just, just, I guess, we just could have pulled out. But, uh, I mean, we got another game on Saturday. We just have to get ready for that game. Coach Griffiths got there a couple of days ago. Jay, but he took it on himself in the different roles he asked you to play last year and wanted to get you set in a role this year. Just how comfortable do you feel and how he's using you? And when you get hot, like you get hot tonight. How yeah, I mean, uh, I feel comfortable right now. Uh, I mean, actually, if you ask me from, from the Phoenix game that we had over there, that's uh, from that game until now, I just feel confident. I, I, no, I'm just playing my game right now. Uh, obviously, I know my role, what it is, and I'm just trying to do the best for the team. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Jetty, for you, going off of that, if you go back to the Phoenix game, did something change? The first Phoenix game? You said since then you've been comfortable. Did something change? Uh, I would say I changed myself. Um, I just changed myself. And, uh, you know, just uh, that game I came out, uh, made the right plays, made some shots, uh, just, you know, uh, muscle defensively. And that's it. And then, Jared, for you guys, you know, we've talked a lot about trying to take the next step. Right. What is it going to take for you guys as a group to turn some of these tight, hard-fought uh, losses into wins? The details. Uh, if we got a little more details right, you know, we had a couple turnovers. We had a couple uh, just missed opportunities in the final five minutes of that game. If we get those down, I'm not saying we have to be perfect. You know, no team's going to be perfect. But if we get a couple of those, then I think we could come out with the win. Thank you. Kelsey. Kelsey of the Athletic. Actually, building off of that, um, Jared. But you guys have, throughout the, early in the season, we're closing games really well. And, and you know, thoughts has been a little up and down as the mm -hmm. season goes. So are, is the details that next to the closing games? And how do you guys see that maturation process of, you know, gaining experience in those moments right. um, and being able to turn it into – that, I, guess. I think tonight was a perfect opportunity in that building experience. Uh, they went to the finals last year, you know, and that's on their on a 13 game win streak. They're hot. And, you know, here we are, we're battling, we're scrapping, we're down a lot of the players, you know, we're still trying to figure ourselves. It was a perfect night for us to figure out the details going forward. I mean, we're still getting our team back. We're still getting our practice, our legs back under us. So as long as we keep going like this, I think we're going like, to close out the season well. And obviously, you know, there's not a lot of moral victories, but when you guys see even in these moments, um, like how hard you still are playing, does that just like help instill like a confidence in you guys, even right. like uh, even in in the loss? But it's like, okay, well, we are still playing the way we want to play. Right. You know, the no moral victories thing is it's true. You know, we don't want we want to win, but still looking at how young we are, you know, we need to take some positives from every single game that we can. And I think tonight was a perfect takeaway. You know, we were in the game, we were we we're doing things right. You know, we did have our mistakes, but still we had things that we could build off of. Uh, Mac Robinson, 93 fan. For both you guys, you guys had six players that were in double figures tonight. What does that really say about your offense and the way you guys are being aggressive while also distributing? Uh, we're sharing the ball. Uh, we're sharing the ball. People know when to be aggressive. People know that we're counting on them to make the right play. And, you know, we don't mind if they miss a shot. As long as they're doing the right thing, as long as they're playing the right way, we're going to back them up 100%. I mean, uh, I agree with you. I mean, we had 20, 22 assists tonight. And uh, I think it's not only today. I think we've been doing this from the beginning of the season. But, I mean, we're playing really good basketball. We're 
we're a totally different team than last year. Um, and I can say that we're, you know, we're uh, we're finding each other. We're we're having a good looks. We're making shots. Sometimes we're missing, but I think that, you know, overall, I think that we're playing with really good basketball. And then Jared, for you, it seemed like early on in the in the first half and throughout the first half, uh, DeAndre Aiden was a little bit thrown off, at least um, from what I could tell. But for you, what were you doing on the defensive end, and you know, what was that like going up against him tonight? Uh, you know, he's a he's a great player. You know, I truly think I came out swinging the first punch, and you know, he reciprocated well in the second half. You know, he started to you know get into his own game, but I just tried to come out and attack first. Thank you. Teddy, for you, was that last possession designed for you? For the game time three yeah, from the yeah. corner? <laughs> uh, that, that I, uh, that, the one that you heard shot from the corner? Yeah. Uh, I mean, normally it would be a – the play was to me to get a ball, but it was a hammer for DG. But uh, I thought I had – CP was kind of like – I had him on the back door, so that's why I decided just to back up and uh, shoot the three. I mean, I just trusted myself and went to the shot. How did it feel? It was good. I mean, obviously, it would be better if I made a shot, but uh, I think, uh, you know, I think it was a, I think it was a good shot because, like, he was, you know, he was kind of backed up, so he was, he was not in the play, so that's why I decided to do the shot. Thank you. Oh, last one, Robert. Thank you. Hi, here Robert Torres from Planeta Gaps, Spain. Hola, Chedi. Hola, Jared. Hola. First of all, muy bien, y tú. Thank you, guys. First of all, congratulations for the win. It's so difficult to face off one of the best teams of the league like that. Uh, what's the feeling of the local room about this defeat for both? Uh, you know, we're we really wish that we had that game. Uh, you could just feel the energy in the locker room when we came in. We were all, all down on ourselves because we were up at halftime. They got the best of us in the third quarter, and we just didn't close out how we wanted to. But I think we still had an inkling in the back of our mind that we played hard, we scrapped, and we did everything that we were supposed to do.